<laughs> Yo! <laughs> He's so cute! So small! Small dragon! <laughs> First, the following list includes features that can be implemented in the upcoming week. Oh no, hopefully someone suggested that they should nerf Garo. <laughs> Who attended these? Who attended these? Did, did anyone suggest that? Can we nerf Garo or something? <laughs> All attendees is Garo user. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> What's up everyone? Gids here for another Summoner's War Chronicles video. And today it's a discussion on our Twitch stream earlier. So this is the Korean dev notes. So stuff that's coming into the Korean server that would probably come into global sometime soon in the future. So if you want to join in on these kinds of discussions and all the fun stuff during our live streams, go check out twitch.tv slash All right. Anyways, let's start. Anyways, what's this? Is this Guild Town? Looks like Guild Town, right? And then this thing looks like the raids, but with something something going on over here. It's like a campaign or something. Or you have to complete them probably a couple of times. Over the course of three weeks, stages will be so sequentially unlocked. And by strategizing through these stages, play players will be able to earn one year medals and various rewards. Points will accumulate based on the medal spent. And these points can be used at the point exchange. Ooh, okay, okay. Purchase summoner transformation potions, one year summoning trolls. RP form transformations and various growth resources. There are a total of six types of summoner transformation potions available. You can transform it, transform into characters like Naraka, Penguin Knight, Playful Bat, Arc Lizard Man, and Cute Mushroom Stone, allowing you to freely explore the world of Chronicle. After transforming, you can also engage in battles using the skills of the. Hmm. Oh. Wait. What? Really? You can also engage in battles using the skills of the transformed monster. Yo, that sounds fun. Naraka might be OP, no? Oh, she! What the fuck? It's so cute! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> He's so cute! So small! Small dragon! <laughs> What's this? Oh, young harpy for. Oh, Harpy Transmog. It's a Harpy Transmog. This is Harpy Transmog. She. Oh my god. We have to fire Harp. Harpy or Harpu? It looks like the Harpu, no? It's probably the Harpu because Harpy doesn't sound right. Yeah. This is the Harpy. This is the Harpu. I think it's Harpu. And then what's this? Ooh, Transmogs, costumes, mushroom costumes. <laughs> the cliff one looks goofy. For the one year anniversary, the, ex the one year exclusive summoning page will be available for use with the one year summoning scrolls. Unlike the regular summons, you can directly choose the desired monster. <gasps> oh, oh, while previous probability of summons had 40% rate increase. This year's summoning event will have... Oh, okay, so it's 50-50. It's 50-50. So you can you can select someone that you want. <laughs> you can select someone that you want, fire, water, or wind monster. And then they're going to have like an, a 50% increased rate. So it's like select your own banner, right? It's like select your own banner plus, plus it's a 50-50. So if you summon a nat 5, you get to roll 50-50 if you get that nat 5 or not. So I think that's pretty good because you can change the summoning target each time the summoning mileage for this event had has been modified to grant the <gasps> oh oh wait what wait oh free LD LD scroll every 30 summons wait that's so good every 30 summons of the one year scroll you get an LD scroll dude that sounds good yeah but you don't get a pity I mean it's not bad. It's still good. Even if you you don't guarantee you don't get a guarantee on getting the monster that you want here, it's still it's going to be 50/50 always, but you get an LD scroll every 30 summons, so I think that's worth it, no? You might get your LD5s. Ooh, ooh, we're going to get a new LD5. 
One year rune shop will also use points for previewing and purchasing rune options. If the desired rune option is not available, you can spend a certain amount of points to refresh the so shop list. Um, what's what points are you gon gonna use here? Is it still going to be the medals or it's a different point? I don't know, right? I don't know. Celebrate the one year anniversary. We will provide free crystals. Hey, we love to see it. Free crystals. New summoner costumes will be introduced. Okay. Uh, when purchasing the costume package, you will be able to obtain costumes for four different. So it's a one time purchase. You get all the costumes for all the summoners already. Nice. Okay, so just buy one, you get everything. <laughs> Cliff, though. <laughs> it looks like a sheep without the helmet. Okay, summoning. Uh, the following is the update content. Summoning skill artifacts will be added. Each monster can equip one artifact. Okay, artifacts are incoming. Total of 6 normal, 10 magic, 12 rare, and 12 hero artifacts will be introduced specific to each monster. There would be some artifacts that going to alter some skills. That would be fun. That might make some out of meta monster meta, right? Hopefully, we'll see. Right? There are both common and class specific artifacts. Oh, common and class specific artifacts, which can be enhanced up to a total of 15 levels. Higher tier skill artifacts can also be obtained through synthesis. Artifacts will increase the monster's stats, attack, HP, and defense based on their enhancement level and provide additional passives. Ooh, passive skills! As the skill effects are continuously being adjusted, de detailed skill effects for each artifact will be provided in update. Okay, that would be cool. Yeah, this is okay. This is the artifacts plus 15. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looks like there, there's 5 types. Or, no. This is 6 types. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Guild Agate. <laughs> what is this? Guild Agate will be ex expanded. Energy towers can be constructed. And depending on the tower's level, you will be able to acquire additional energy. Now, this looks like um Guild Town. No? Guild Town. Energy towers in the Guild Town, looks like. Guild Workshop can be built. And constructing it will allow you to craft additional items based on the workshop's level. Okay. Addis craft additional items, we don't know what kind of items. So, or is this just the profession items? If so, that's gonna be really good. Now, when a new battlefield season starts, the existing ranks will all be reset. However, the ranking titles from the previous season will be retained. Okay. This is about rankings or titles. Battlefield season rankings will be recorded in the Hall of Honor at the end of the season. Notifications and rewards will be given out. Okay. The currency used for entering the battlefield will be changed from crystals to energy. Oh! Battlefield recharges are going to use energy now. Hmm. Not sure if that's good, but I don't I don't recharge anyway, so meh. <laughs> Rules for siege battles will be changed. Detailed power values of enemy summoners. And monsters will not be shown. Instead, the total power will be displayed in units of 100k. Oh. Okay. So this is going to make it much harder then. Like, you won't know if it's a good or bad defense. Isolated base will now be handled differently. Any base not connected to the main base will be treated as isolated. What does that mean? The rule for capturing bases will also be changed. Instead of capturing a base by removing last defense deck, now each guild needs to completely defeat the enemy defense decks. Of the respective base to capture it. I don't know what that means. Regular events related to the start of Galaga season and hero areas will be added. Different amounts of energy will be consumed for entering raids. The energy cost for entering the mist prison will be reduced by about 20% compared to the current cost, and the cost for entering the hero three of heroes will be reduced to around. Oh huh? wait, different amounts of energy will be consumed for each raid. Ooh, oh wait. Because raids will be energy based now, not weekly. Mmm, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Here are convenience improvements. Ooh. You will now be able to send whispers to offline players. They will receive notifications when they log in to check their messages. Ah. When a specific monster equips a rune that another monster is already wearing, the equipped rune on monster A will be switched to monster B if monster A had that same rune equipped. If it's the same rage, if it's a rage rune and you're swapping it with another monster's rage rune, they're basically going to switch. Probably. I think that's how it that's how it would work. Claim all button has been added for event. Hey, nice. This is this one's really good. 
especially if you have a lot for like what what was that event the disc event right disc event or whatever um the bingo events right they're so annoying <laughs> to claim all would be really good for that players who are not the party leader can now apply for party matching party matching will automatically retry if it fails okay information about raid party bonus rewards will be displayed when available raid party bonus rewards there's a raid party bonus when using monster selection tickets including five star selection tickets you can now immediately select the monster without needing to visit an npc for exchange okay this is good an hp meter has been added to display damage in arena battles i don't know a preview button for awakened skills has been added to the monster skill page okay this is good at least you can see awakened skills easier awakened and codex stages of monsters will be shown in the altar blessings okay a feature to disable equipment enhancement notifications will be added to the chat options okay good this, at least this is going to clean up chat additionally we have internally discussed suggestions you provided for the one year offline event and have decided to provide uh, proceed with the following schedule first the following list includes features that can be implemented in the upcoming week oh no hopefully someone suggested that they should nerf caro <laughs> who attended these who attended these did, did anyone suggest that can we nerf garo or something <laughs> all attendees is garo user yeah <laughs> too bad <laughs> we plan to reduce the time required for listing items on exchange from three to four hours oh so it was around three to four hours i did not know that okay so they're changing it to one hour now okay the issue of teleporting to a village while using the teleport feature will be addressed, eliminating the necessary visit to the village before the intended destination. Uh, we will be... Yeah, it looks like will stuff, no? <laughs> we will be... We will enable the purchase of challenge arena tokens using conquest arena currency. Ah, okay. It's not going to use crystals anymore. Or um, you can use... still. I think you can still use crystals but you can still use the arena currency which is good the list below comprises features that require additional development time and will be reflected in the of september october changes or updates with the addition of monster replacement preset feature the preset function will also be introduced in the challenge arena selection window oh okay presets is good so that you can change your teams so much faster Training grounds will feature the ability to reset skill cooldowns and mana. Okay, this is good. <laughs> this is really good when you're trying to test stuff in the training grounds. An option to set the range for automatic hunting. Oh my god, finally! People needed this. The start of the game. Especially people that have been farming runes. Right? Runes from the field areas. Field area bosses, right? An account skill preset feature will be added and the functionality of gamepad controls will be enhanced. Uh, who cares, right? <laughs> For equipment enhanced up to level 15, we are considering a method to further increase stats by consuming additional enhancement items. We are discussing ways to enhance information related to attack and defense records in the siege battle. Okay. We are grateful for your love and support. Okay. Nice. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you like the video, Press the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, and tell us in the comments which of these stuff do you like the most or you are most excited for. So looking forward to hear your thoughts. See you again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.